Welcome to Bear Download at ChicagoTribune.com. I'm Rich Campbell along with Dan Weeder. We're here at Hallis Hall on Monday as the Bears are still picking themselves up from Sunday's 31-24 loss to the Carolina Panthers. And Dan, in that game, obviously, three turnovers in the final six minutes, 44 seconds of that game. Bears really gave that game away and sort of pushes to the front of, of our narrative here this idea that the offense is not meeting the expectations that people had for it in the second season under Mark Tressman, in the second season with all these Pro Bowl weapons, these high caliber weapons on offense. And it, leave, it really leaves you wondering what is going to happen with this team uh, offensively? Can they get the offense going starting this week in Atlanta? Yeah, well, Mark Tressman called that loss unacceptable today. He said it was a game that the Bears were in control of and they let get away. And so they're sitting at two and three here in week six and suddenly trying to figure out who they are as a football team. And I think this is a lot of what we talked about coming out of training camp where we were starting to, to scale back on our expectations for this team just because they seem to have a lot of loose bolts around the team. You, yeah. you didn't feel good that all three phases were as, as airtight as they needed to be going into the season. We've seen that through the first five games. They've been up, they've been down, they've been up, they've been down. They've shown signs that they can put it all together and then they've shown signs that they can throw it all away. We've seen it all through five weeks and you know, you can constantly talk about, hey, we can get this corrected, we get it cleaned up, we're right on the verge. That's what 16 or 17 mediocre teams in the NFL yeah. talk about, and you wind up around 7-9, and 8-8, eight and eight, out of the, outside the playoffs looking in, and I, I, you just fear for this team that that's where they're headed based on what they've shown so far. Right, I think you have to start looking at the offense, though, because that's where all the money is on this team. No Jay question. Cutler with the big contract in the offseason, Brandon Marshall, and then the list goes on from there. This team is built to win offensively, and... and when you invest in your offense and the offense doesn't play well, you're going to lose games. And, and that's your head coach right is now. an offensive mastermind as well. And so that's exactly. the side of the ball that has to carry you in games like yesterday. I think yeah. everyone would be of the belief that with the turnovers the defense created yesterday, with the way they stopped the run, they had an acceptable performance out there in the sense that they put them in position to win. You get into the second half of that game, you've got a, a beat up Panthers defense, you've got an opportunity to turn some of your playmakers loose, you've got a chance for your franchise yeah. quarterback to rescue you in a game. He's got to do it. Jay Cutler didn't do it. He obviously committed the, uh, the bad interception there in the fourth quarter that hurt him. You, you don't really fault him for the, the final fumble on the final play. You're, you're facing sure, fourth, fourth sure. and long and there's a heavy rush coming. But again, it's not only the fourth quarter interception, it's the, the pick joke Jay threw earlier in the game. And, and it, it's repeated errors and so that's where you say okay can they get it fixed I don't know yeah Jay on his radio show on Monday afternoon said that 99% of this is on the offense and he said he'll take 90% of that 99% we've had a long day with the plane rides <laughs> but but I think the point is exactly what you said Dan Mark Tressman said that first interception uh, to Brandon Marshall should have been thrown to a different receiver, Alshon Jeffrey on the outside. Second interception is Jay admitted the ball got away from him. These are errors uh, by the quarterback. The quarterback has to play better, especially when he's your highest paid player. No he's your money guy. Yesterday was a game where Jay could have put a stamp on this season and really just, I don't know, taken the lead. Yeah. You know, met this type of expectation by leading the Bears to a, a, either a drive that came from behind to win after they fell behind or to ice the game there. Instead, he turned the ball over. So it's like you said, back to these repeated errors. When are we going to see the progression? So far, it hasn't happened. Progression. Bottom line in the NFL, yeah. if you're going to take a step forward, if you're going to go from this team that's constantly on the outside of the playoffs looking into a, a legitimate playoff contender, you have to stop making big mistakes and big moments. You have to start winning winnable games. The loss to Buffalo, the loss to Carolina, unacceptable losses. They're at two and three, and they're paying the price for it. Yeah, well, we'll try to progress here on Bear Download as well. So stay tuned to ChicagoTribune.com all week for coverage. For Dan Weider, I'm Rich Campbell, and that'll do it for this edition of Bear Download.